I always liked the idea of having a spiritual basis to whatever I was working on. And it, it seemed like stained glass was the last bastion of religious art in, in Western culture. The most important thing in stained glass is really daylight. Uh, without that, you, you know, you drive by a church at night, you don't see anything. It's only when you're inside and the daylight is pouring through. The glass is the second most important ingredient. I have a great relationship with the studio who makes the glass in is special, special artwork even before we touch it. The lead is the matrix that holds the pieces of glass together. After that, the only ingredient is really skill. The technology has not advanced that much from when they first started making laser glass windows. It's the same, we cut our glass by hand, we pattern it by hand, we fabricate by hand. Keeping this tradition going is, is, is really cool. You can find enjoyment in a lot of the different tasks that you do here. I think what I enjoy is that uh, we can wear a lot of different hats and there's a variety of different tasks. There's nothing better than working really hard and enjoying the outcome. There's plenty of scenes to do for this job, so there's no shortage of work. I always try in my designs, if I can, to surprise people somehow. So what would it be like to have an angel appear to you and give you a message? What, I mean, what would that be like? So it's not just like a stop sign that they see and say, oh yes, I recognize that, that's the Annunciation, and move on. I want to surprise them somewhat and, and make them look at this in a different way, a way maybe they've never imagined before.